An anti-war, anti-government protest is still alive in Washington today. The Occupy DC and Veterans for Peace protest had a permit to stay in Freedom Plaza near the Federal Triangle area. That expired Sunday night. But the tent city had not moved on Monday morning, and the police were nowhere in sight. They told us don't occupy the square. They said don't put up tents. They said don't serve hot food. They said, and we've done, we violated every taboo they've given us for three days. At this time last week, the Occupy DC movement consisted of about 12 people in McPherson Square. Today, the protest is much larger and much more organized. Protesters got started with a morning meeting. They organized marches throughout the city, from Union Station to the Convention Center. But the protest is not just about walking and chanting. Um, my understanding was that there would be a march over to the, a homeless shelter nearby, and I would like to participate in that. Uh, back in my hometown, I'm very active with a homeless uh, shelter that is, we've recently established there. The protesters also discussed what to do in case the police do come. Many were planning to simply walk across the street and wait for the cops to leave. But others wanted to make a different statement. I'm hoping to get arrested this afternoon and to come back and get arrested again tomorrow up on the hill and basically to come back every three or four days, like stay overnight, get arrested again. Congress gets back to work tomorrow morning. And while the specifics haven't been hashed out, one thing is for sure, the Occupy DC protest will be there. In Freedom Plaza, I'm Zach Drescher, District Wire News.